We also got Omomo. We're dropping you off. Oh, that, that's that's horrible. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you my experience about under eye back surgery. Usually you won't see my under eye back because of the makeup and lighting. And let me show you now. So this is the light of death. Look at this lighting. Under this lighting, you can see everything on your face, including these two eye bags. They're just getting worse. The older I get, the bigger they are. And it's under this lighting. My husband picked this lighting, the strongest white light. I don't know why. He loves the strongest white lighting. Oh, you know what? Maybe because it's good for him when he needs to pop his bed bone. Because it just shows everything. And look at this now. Look at this huge eye bag. And these are fat under the skins. And tomorrow, the surgery is just to reposition, not taking out the fat, is to reposition this fat to here. So, yeah, I think it's about time. And I think it's genetic. My dad also has it. The older that he gets, the bigger the eye bag. Yeah. Same years, too. So, that's why I've been thinking about it for a long time. And I think it's about time. It will look like I'm tired. Yeah, so tomorrow, let's get it done. So we stopped by 99 Ranch and Daiso to get some essentials for tonight. And we also got Omomo favorite boba. Got this boba tea for him. If you haven't tried Omomo, try it. It's so good. Also, let me show you what I got for tonight. Essential. So in this bag, I got this Hoxong bread in case I'm hungry. And also got this cake just because I'm feeling I want some carbs. And this is for my husband's his favorite snack. Got it from 99 and the reason we stopped by Daiso is we need some sleepers tonight. The, I don't think the hotel has sleepers so we need this. So that's it. Oh and white rabbits for new year. More white rabbit candy. Yep. Oh. And this. Bolo Bow. And we are dropping Momo. We are dropping you off for Grandma's vacation. And tonight we are going to the Pasta restaurants. I forgot the name, but Yo you know. Pasta. Yo Pasta is the one that has a lot of cheese in it. They put the pasta in the cheese and mix it. Yes, in Beverly Hills, and we were saying in Beverly Hills, the hotel is just a couple minutes away from surgery centers. Can we walk there? Wait, no, because after my surgery, I don't think I can walk to... Well, can we walk back? I don't think so. I don't want to walk with like all the stitches. I can go pick stitches. you up. Yeah, you need to Wait, pick me up. How long is the procedure? Around 45 minutes. Uh, and go pick you up. Sounds like a plan. So this is our room, which I don't recommend you to stay because it's kind of old and small, this room. Let's learn. Let's see the restroom. It smells like an eight-year-old lady. Yeah, it, 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 hold on. This is the restroom. No offense to any eight-year-old woman out there. The floor here, cleaned. And the AC is too old. It's kind of loud. <laughs> and we are on the second floor. And this is the bed. 
So we are staying here for one night only. Tomorrow the surgery is at 8.15 and I'll be there at around 7.45. The only thing, only good thing about this hotel is it's very close to the surgery center which is six minutes walk and two minutes drive. That's the reason when I first saw this location I booked this hotel and well the thing is it's only for one night the staff was friendly right huh she she's very nice the lady is very nice and yeah if you are going to stay here for a couple more days then don't book this don't book this hotel it just has a special smells it's like old house smells yeah, like yeah, yeah. old house mm, no if I have a choice to choose again, mm. yo, I can see you from here. See? Whoa. Show me. That's a good idea. Oh, that, that's, that's horrible. So the problem to fix it is light on first. Yeah, it smells like weed. <laughs> What's the solution? Coverage. Oh! Wait, you don't want me to see you? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no! We're walking to the restaurant. What is the restaurant name again? El Pastel El Pastel Have some pasta I'm so hungry I'm ready for the pasta What about this one? Wait, why? Why you walk so fast? Walking back and on the way, we will get our frozen yogurt. That's our dessert. That place is just so so huh? It was, yeah, so so. Yeah, it's so so. Also, I will give it five out of ten. This is so good. Um, what you got? I got peanut butter and chocolate. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday morning. Now it's 7.30 and the surgery time is at around 8.15. So 45 minutes before the surgery, um, I have to take some pain medication and another medication is for relaxation. Um, yeah, and also on the day for the surgery, um, you're supposed to wash your face 
and after you wash your face don't put anything and also wear a loose jacket and any clothes that you feel comfortable we are about to leave in 15 minutes i'm wearing hoodie and a legging both are very comfy loose loose clothes we're about to leave in 15 minutes Hello. Oh, hello. I can't open my eyes. Then you probably shouldn't. How should I walk down? I'm gonna help you up. Okay. So I wanna put this phone down. <laughs> okay. So, what time is it now? What time is it? It's now? about 12. 12 o'clock? Mm hmm. So it's like two, three hours after the surgery and then I barely can open my eyes. I can see like like this oh I can't open this eyes with this one a little bit and cannot see any text message. Um so just rest and I think I need to see my kids. I always feels like my my lips here is it it's what, is it swollen? It's not swollen, but I need to get you some gauze. Oh, I can't I can't feel anything here. Yeah, probably still numb. Okay, so I'm gonna just rest a little bit and if I can open my eyes I will do next checking. Okay. <laughs> so this is my lunch, some soup tomato soup and I put meatball rice and this kind of weird maybe for you for some of people and this is a century eggs I know but it tastes good so I don't know why I keep working all day today it's 7 30 my eyes uh, my eyes can finally open and I can see things clearly now. And in the beginning, in the beginning, I don't know why, like everything I see, it's not normal. It's like, for example, this door, I will see it like shift like, like this, shift to the left. So the vision is not as clear as now. But so far, I think now it's getting normal. We have a little, little bit bleeding here. And I can see here, it's a little bit, um, sorry. Here is a little bit swollen. And tomorrow, the doctor said it will be more swollen. <laughs> sorry. I don't know why. I keep working. And also, you guys know I'm a big foodie and I don't know why I don't have much appetite today. So I make myself so so my husband make me porridge and let's go see. This is my food for tonight. Yes, porridge. Some seaweed and ground turkey. I think that's the only thing I can eat now. So for the price, it really depends on your skin type, and also the older you get, um, the less firm your skin is. So it means your case will be more complicated. Usually the price for local anesthesias, um, from what I've asked, it's around 5-6k and if you want full body IV sedations, like they put you in sleep, that one is more expensive, um, 10k above, so it really depends on the doctor. Maybe I will share more details in my video, so subscribe! So some of you said I don't look like I have under eye bag. 
girl let me just be straight okay it's makeup it's lighting um yeah i do have under eye bag and it's genetic my dad has it he thought about <laughs> doing this surgery but now he think oh, i'm too old for that eh. and yeah the older i get the more obvious i find it gets worse so my surgeon basically just repositions the fat here to here but some people their under eye is not fat in that case they can use filler 